You know, for us personally, we, we're lucky we have a, a large extended family. Fred Hutch is an integral part of that as well. Uh, it gives you the support that, that you need to, to navigate this journey because it's a, it's a difficult one. Yeah, I think also my dad's also very, we kind of hit <laughs> both the age groups, like within my friend group, but then also my dad's like, and you know, like, oh, you're turning 50, like go get your colonoscopy. Like we're definitely those people yeah. <laughs> that, which I'm like, you know, maybe it's, I mean, none of my friends would think it's annoying, but you know, I'm like, oh, you have stomach problems. Like go get that checked out. Like don't act like it's just like normal that you're having, you know, these issues. So I think um, advocacy, and I think we both approach it like in different ways, um, is really important to both of us and just advocating for yourself and your health um, and not second guessing uh, if something doesn't feel right. Because I think in both, I mean, my dad didn't show any symptoms, but you know, he went luckily and got his colonoscopy at, right at 50 because if he had waited and I think that's a common thing is that you get people that just wait. Um, or don't do it all. Or don't do it at all, yeah. And I think that's a huge part of, I think having, I'm, I mean, I always say like knowledge is power <laughs> and just like knowing your body and like being able to advocate for yourself and, and for other people too that maybe don't have a voice or maybe aren't as comfortable with their diagnosis. I mean, everyone handles a little bit differently but I mean now that they've lowered the age to 45 I think that's great but in some regard I feel like it could be lower I feel like it should be lower it should yeah. be at 40 the thing about colon cancer is it's a slow moving cancer yeah so there's a good chance that for me if I would have gotten checked at 45 you know it just may have been a larger polyp and I wouldn't have had to go through chemotherapy and a colon resection uh, same with me I mean they said my cancer had been growing for <laughs> quite some time yeah. and so to uh, delay and wait or not do it at all is, is really kind of upsetting you have to be your own advocate you you sometimes you know doctors want to say well don't worry about it and it's it's just uh, too important of a screening to ignore yeah and I think also um, knowing your family history especially like in our case, and I don't think we have anyone before us that Not really. had colon cancer, but uh, knowing your family history, I think is really important because for my sisters and I, we had all planned to get colonoscopies anyway, but if I had waited until I was 30, I mean, I was already stage four, and unfortunately cancer is kind of <laughs> all around. Once you start talking about it and sharing your story, you realize that everybody has a connection to, to that. So I think that's also really important too.